A transistor is a semiconductor device that acts like a current amplifier or a switch. It has three terminals, collector, base, and emitter. When a small current flows between the base and emitter, it allows a larger current to flow between the collector and emitter. That's current amplification. Imagine this process like water flowing through a pipe. No B current, the piston stays shut. No flow from C to E. Now imagine applying 0.7 volts to the base. A tiny control current flows from B to E like pushing water into a tiny channel. That small input current opens up a path for a much larger current to flow from C to E. Just like releasing a valve and letting a larger flow of water rush through. And the more current you allow into the base, the more open the path becomes, allowing a greater flow from C to E. That's how a transistor amplifies. A small input controls a much bigger output. But what if the pipe can't handle more flow? That's saturation. When increasing B current stops boosting CE current, the transistor is fully on and has reached its maximum conduction capacity. Let's say your transistor has a current gain of 20. That means one amp current between BE gives 20 amp current between CE. But when the transistor saturates, even if the BE current increases to two amps, the CE current stays at 20 amps, no more increase in output. That's saturation. When the transistor has reached its maximum amplification capacity, it behaves more like a closed switch than a linear amplifier. Transistors are used everywhere, in amplifiers, motor control, switching circuits, and more. And at ATO, we've got you covered.